for. Well, that's a little blingy today, huh? Uh, I'm just supporting our guest on the show. Are the lights okay with that? Are the light? I mean, is she sparkling over there? No, you are part Filipino. Thanks, buddy. I waited <laughs> so long for that validation. All right, let's begin. <laughs> Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. How's it going? You got Lanai, that's Brooke Lee. And uh, today on the podcast, I'm so happy to get this guy. I I, um, I just like generally he, he brings me joy. Aww. Yeah. And he, uh, we, I've traveled with him. Mm. I've done shows with him, hung out with him, ate, broke bread with him. Mm. Uh, I'll give you a, I'm going to give him a big introduction. And you know him. Yeah. Yeah. Is that your introduction? No. Okay. Just joking. Uh, today's guest won the regional <laughs> Kings of Comedy competition, uh, but on the uh, original Kings of Comedy, they went on to perform at the Universal Amphitheater in Hollywood, and then on to the MGM in Vegas. He's been featured on VH1, G4 Tech TV, Showtime Pacific Rim Comedy, also on HBO with P Diddy's special uh, comedy special. He was the headliner for the Filipino Kings of Comedy tour. Mm -hmm. He was also a feature on the comedy Invasion. Ooh, that was a bring you back to the old one, huh? which was on Hulu, also on Amazon Prime. Uh, most recently, he's in the Netflix special with Joe Coy called The In His Elements, and I think he stole the show. Okay. I really do think All he stole right. the show. Uh, we've done many shows here in Hawaii. Uh, he's done San Francisco, Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite comedians, Mr. Joey Gila. How are you, brother? Hi. Oh, man, bro. Thank you for that intro. I felt like my eulogy. I was about to cry. <laughs> I, miss, I miss him. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, you, know, you can have him. <laughs> when's, the la when's, the, when's the last time you and Brooke have seen each other? Years. Years, yes, man. It was before these these gray hairs, definitely. Yeah. That was you before you blew up and became a big, 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 big star. I mean, oh, you were on the man. rise, but like you were now huge. You guys did like a, a funeral in the Chinatown or something? You guys yeah. had <laughs> right next to a bar mitzvah in Pacoima. Yeah, that's what happened. I was in Santa Monica. I was getting my skin tags moved. She goes, mm -hmm. Is that you? <laughs> oh my God, Tommy, what up, buddy? <laughs> yeah. No, but how? When did you guys meet each other? We judged a like a Asian American. American festival like oh. comedy um, contest in Hollywood and it was me Keiko and Jaina uh -huh. who's been on the show right. him and um, another girl who was on in Saigon okay um, so she was in Broadway so you guys go way back yeah Joe you yeah, haven't been to Hawaii many years ago. you yeah. haven't been to Hawaii in a while Man, I have not. I miss it so much, brother. I miss sleeping at your house. You always have the two cameras in your bedroom. I was like, what's the two cameras in the bedroom? Wow. That's for theft. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll take, I'll take headshots on your, on your headboard. <laughs> Good to know. What, what have you been doing uh, during lockdown? What did you do last oh, year? Yeah, so I've been like just writing, reading, listening to audio books and yeah. trying to be meditating. I'm listening to like Deepak Chopra. You guys like Deepak wow, Chopra? Wow, yeah. Man, it's like, it was like, I fell asleep last night. He was like, <laughs> this, he said, you need to calm down, relax, hear the breeze, the seashells, more seashells. Listen to the stars, the moon, the water. For fifteen dollars only, please support more. I was like, "Oh man, he's tricking me!" I was giving money in my sleep. Like, <laughs> put more coins in it. Put more coins. Yeah, put more coins. In it. How long have you been doing stand up now, Joey? You know, honestly, the first time I tried it, I think it was '99, so about twenty-one years. Twenty-one wow. years. Yeah, yeah. And you, yeah, and you um, years. you have an interesting story. You uh, can you tell everybody why you started doing stand up? Uh, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, um, when I was 23, I had a little setback called the Big C. Oh, and uh, yeah, I had fourth stage cancer. And what I would do is I was, uh, when I was going through like chemo and everything, I would just love to watch stand up comedy. And I, I would laugh and I would just feel so good. I remember laying there, I was telling myself, man, one day I would love to make people feel good too. Um, so and I said, when well, I'm in a mission, and I lost my hair too. So at the same time, I said, okay, I lost my hair. I need to trade before I get into stand up. I said, wait, my great grandfather was a hairdresser, hmm. and uh, my grandfather was a hairdresser. So then um, that was my plan to be a hairdresser, and then somehow slip into stand up. So I got licensed. I um, I remember right when I was in mission, I signed myself to cosmetology school, and wow. it was in Vallejo, California. Of course. And uh, there was a, it was all sisters. It was cool. <laughs> They would teach me how to braid hair. <laughs> I was braiding hair like this. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. No, but it was such a good experience. Got licensed, and 
ended up in um, working in, in Beverly Hills at Jose Ibarra Salon. Wait, what? And, uh, yeah, he was big yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I, I didn't know what I was doing, but my friend got me the job there. He said, Joey, all right, I got you the interview, but don't tell him you're straight. I said, for real? Are you serious? <laughs> no, this is a true story. Because your price goes up if you're so not. So the interviewer is like, this is so true. The interviewer was like, Joey? I go, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I just, the whole interview. Wow. The whole interview, the whole interview. But yeah, I worked there. And so what made me decide to finally get into stand-up was my friend was cutting Jerry Seinfeld's hair. Oh. And uh, so I was like looking from the side. I was on the colorist side. And I was just peeping on the other side of the wall. Just like real creepy, just looking. <laughs> and we met eyes. That's so we met. He looked at me. I looked at him. And then right then, I signed up for like a comedy school in like Santa Monica. Wow. wow. Wait, house. wait. Hold that thought. We got to. I want to hear the rest of this story. Don't go anywhere. Joey Gila is hanging out with us. It's a Hawaii thing. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHI THING. HEC Medical Clinic, Dr. Aries Oda, Hawaii's number one laser weight loss center for weight loss, reverse diabetes, and heart disease. Call today for your limited time special, only $37. Lose one to two inches instantly. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, talking story with Joey Gila. And uh, you saw Jerry Seinfeld and in your salon. And he stole his soul, basically, is what you did. And, and, you, and then you signed up for what did you sign up for? Yeah, Jerry Seinfeld was getting a perm. No, I was playing. No, he was getting a perm. <laughs> my friend was cutting his hair. And right then I said, oh, my gosh. It's I remember sign. saying, I said, I wanted to do stand-up. This is it. I, I got I to gotta sign up. So the day after, I signed up to some uh, comedy school in Santa Monica. And that's that was like the first time I started uh, my journey. With, so you uh, went to a Canada. comedy school. I didn't know you went to a comedy so school. So wait, so yeah. Do, so Ken Chung, it was was a doctor. Ken Ken, Ken Jung, yeah. Jung is yeah, a doctor. That's my brother. Okay, yes. so you can color hair. Brother. So what I'm hearing is comedians can save the world because if they can't do comedy anymore, well, if you really, you could color my hair, and Ken could save our lives. You really think about it. You look at a lot of comedians. They were in a service kind of industry. Right. I'm you know, so helping sorry. people help, you know, something to, to, that line. Right, Joey. And uh, mm -hmm. but you always you've always had that uh, gift of gab that that nurturing make people feel good energy about you. Are you going to say it's because he's Filipino? No, <laughs> you just did. OK. Yeah. Just checking. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. You, you weren't going to be a nurse. You weren't going to be a nurse. Right, right. We love nurses. Let's <laughs> yeah. be clear. Uh, Hawaii. We love nurses. Uh, so what, what was your oh, first stand up gig? My first stand up gig was actually at the Haha -Ha in North Hollywood. And oh, it was uh, like uh, Latino uh. night. And so it was actually that was our first um, showcase. It was a showcase from our from a comedy school. And uh, I was so nervous, I wasn't prepared, and I was drinking other people's drinks before I went on. Pre and I was like, oh, I opened up, was like, man, I got a cold sore. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I had nothing, nothing written, so I was so scared. And the only thing I could remember was watching my dad perform when we were like uh, younger. My dad was like the entertainer of like our family parties. We'd get in, music was on, and he starts making fun of our relatives. He started dancing, mm. and naturally, that's what I kind of picked up from him. So I just started riffing of the nightclub, this Latino nightclub. So when I, when I first walked in, I was so nervous. I got up the mic, they announced my name. I said, hey, how you guys doing? I said, wow, this is nice. This looks like a Chicano bomb shelter. <laughs> and then, yeah. Then... And you're off to the races. That was your first yeah, joke? It, it, it broke... That was your first joke? Yeah, wow. yeah, that was my opening. Because wow. I didn't have a joke, yeah. And then I just kind of made fun of the, you know, the cholos and, and the audience. And, and then the second time I went a bomb because I tried to write. Oh. I tried to write everything down, and oh my gosh! And friends came to see me, and this is this is how you know you're not doing good, right there. You're like, whoo! Any Libras in the house? Libras? <laughs> <laughs> That's not working. Uh, gonna go to well, you know what's so cool friend, about friend, uh -huh. what's so cool about you is if you do a Latino crowd, you can you can pass. Feel, yeah, you go as Latino. Pass. You they, can pass. Yeah, they they thought I was Latino and. Uh, a, a really it's good It's because comedian, you say uh, Latino like that. Yeah, maybe. Say it, right, Latino. Right. Say it again. La Latino. See. Si. And you can and you can talk Spanish. Speak Spanish. Yeah, I just kind of okay. mimic. My stepdad is Mexican, so he came in our lives when we were twelve. So 
yeah, my, my, my step grandmother meeting her, like when I was 12 years old, it was, I met her at midnight in her house in Sonora. And <laughs> yeah, so, so I go there, I did, it's the first time meeting her. And then she like put me to work right away. She goes, mijo, mira, mira, come make me the tamales, tamales. <laughs> I was half asleep in the car. I was like, what's that? <laughs> you got me mixing this masa, this masa. I didn't know uh -huh. what masa was. And I was just massaging it like, you know, 12 years old. I felt like it was like labor, man. I was like, man, this is, this is third world stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so my sisters, my sisters are, are half Mexican too. Oh. Yeah, it was so, cool growing up with that so culture. So you're Visayan. Yeah. That's a Visayan. Adjacent. Yeah, because of Spanish. Yeah. Right. So what In kind of Filipino, Filipino are you? Uh, light skin. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rich. No, my dad, my dad is from uh, Pampanga. Oh yes, Papanga. I love Papanga. Did I say some that right? the, yeah, some of the best Papanga? food, man, out of the Philippines is from Papanga. Really? That's yeah, a right. lot of big chefs come out of there. Hmm. Yeah, it's a landlocked area, which is weird because you would think seafood would come out of there, but it's an amazing place. You gotta go. We gotta take you back there to do a show. He's oh taking my everybody God. back. You know, everything, man. My my dad is such a good cook. Is he? Like everything, See? everything has everything he has has bones in it. It could be anything. <laughs> Caesar salad got bones. Yeah, it's, a thing. it's dessert. It's apple pie Flavor. got bones. Flavor. Yeah. Now you, uh, well, I, we're gonna save this story because we got to take a quick break. But you um, did something with P Diddy, and uh, this mm -hmm. was this is cool because you know we talk about him doing a Latino crowd. You're now doing a, a black crowd, and you killed it. And this would kind of launched your career. Uh, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Joey Gila is hanging out with us. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. At Western Exterminator, our pest-free 365 solution works year-round to protect your home from unwanted pests. Choose pest-free with Western Exterminator. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. This show is brought to you by Atlas Construction, Hawaii's number one builder for eight years in a row. Call them at 808-951-9500 for the quality and service you deserve today. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Joey is hanging out with us. Uh, you won. What did you tell us about the whole P. Diddy thing? How'd that happen? What did you do? Oh, OK. So so in Oakland, they were having this competition called the um, the King, the the Kings and Queens of Comedy Search Story. So Walter Latham, the guy who put together the Kings of Comedy with uh -huh. Bernie Mac. Sanaa Latham's he, yeah. dad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he went to different cities to find like, you know, and I just started comedy and I went to go see my friends perform. They're like, Joey, just come on. I go, no, man, I just, a few months, man, you yeah. know? And uh, so I got, I got on this, this comedy competition and it was like the Apollo. They were booing. They were booing. Oh, oh that's the Yeah, worst. they were booing. One guy was going up. He's like, yeah, they were like, kill yourself. <laughs> kill yourself. <laughs> wow. Kill yourself. This must have been like late 90s, yeah. early 2000s. And this so is I, Oakland. Yeah, wow. It, it, yeah, yeah. Performing in Oakland, it was because uh, um, so when I got back into comedy after my little setback, uh, I just started back in Oakland. So comedy is like you had two seconds to make them laugh. It's like. Yeah. So as soon as I got there, I just started. Uh, Bruce Bruce was um, the host. Oh yeah, yeah. The, from Comic View, he's a very famous yes. uh, comedian. Comic View. So he was a host. So I opened up with. I was like, uh, keep it going for, uh, keep it going for your host. I said he's so big, he got two names. And then you know the crowd was like, ah, because he's a big dude. Right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, right. They're like, <laughs> yeah, okay, he can yeah. hang, he can hang. Yeah, that was your yeah. that was your opening started, joke. How long yeah, did you have to? Yeah, how long did you have to do? I think I only did like six minutes. Okay. But I had to just like, right. you know, yeah, yeah. But I was scared. I didn't even know what I was doing. I was like talking, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and so I won the regional. I didn't win the overall thing, but I won the regional competition. So Walter Latham says, "Oh, I want to, you know, have you open for the Queens of Comedy?" And then, mm -hmm. and then he's the one who said, "Oh, you know," he said, "Uh, you're gonna be on P Diddy's thing in, in New York." And it was that was a I wasn't even I was like what where huh this happened uh, too fast huh? Huh? and I was nervous and and I think when I got there I had like almost like a, like a anxiety like a panic like anxiety attack while yeah. I was performing because they started calling out for Dougie Fresh <gasps> and the crowd was rowdy and I was like oh yeah Dougie and I was just like I started freezing I was like oh right man. that's Dougie <laughs> Fresh but yeah but with, with stand up comedy what I realized is like. Um, it's it's like with the good and bad. Yeah. The only way you get better is by bombing, and I yes. bombed a lot of times. And you know what? 
it's like you see everyone just like you know they're just like they just feel bad for you they're like oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're oh, like God. okay and you gotta walk you gotta walk you gotta walk through the crowd too just like, yeah <laughs> I used to cry. I used to cry in my stomach when I used to lay home. <laughs> well, you're killing so, it now. With comedy is, is, is very honest, you know, and with anything you do, you just got to try it and you're going to fail many times. But, right. you know, I just I just want to heal people, man. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funny, though, how you can bomb consecutively and you still go back for more? It's like you just want more punishment. <laughs> so you, yeah, you just keep man. going back for more. Yeah, you guys are a different breed. Yeah, it's something yeah. about yeah. So, it's there's something about comedians. Uh you you did a Netflix special just came out with Joe Coy and you uh you've opened for Joe. I think I honestly think you stole the show on that special. Oh no. Yeah, how did this happen? How did no. you get connected with Joe? Oh, I've known Joe for a long time. Yeah. Maybe like 17 years. Yeah, we used to perform together with Dr. Ken too. You mentioned yeah. Dr. We're talking wow. about Dr. Ken Jung. Yeah. And uh, Randall Park, and we used to perform at the, the Improv together. And we had like a you know perform on these Asian shows together. Mm. But uh, yeah, Joe finally uh, reached out to me, and uh, I had a little setback with my health about a year and a half ago. And he would, he called me up and he said, man, any way I could help, yada yada. Then he goes, hey, he goes, how you feel right now? I said, oh, I'm just you know I'm, I'm getting better. And he's like, uh, I'm in San Jose. Can you come? I go, San Jose where? San Jose here? <laughs> yeah. He goes, can you can you come to my hotel? I was like, okay. So I went to his hotel. And then he's like, hey, man, uh, you're up five minutes. You good? Five minutes? What? what? He's been stand up for like seven months. And I was like, oh, man, are you serious? And so then I, I go through this corridor and I open up and there's like this, like a sea of people. Right. And you know, big stage screens all over. Right. Dun, 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 right, dun, dun, right. Dun. And I was like, ah! <laughs> That's so cool. But I, I needed that. I was so scared. Yeah. Because I'm like, this is his audience. I'm like, man, you know, it's like, you know, when you're rusty too. And I said, man, I've been, I've been sharpening my tools. Yeah. So thank God I went out there and, and it was just beautiful. His audience is amazing. And then uh, after that show, he's like, he goes, I want you to get better. He goes, I got something for us. I said, what is it? He goes, I, I'm, I'm going to bring you along. I'll let you know in a little bit. And I was like, okay. A few months later, he's like, okay, uh, we're going to Philippines. Okay, wait, we're going to save Philippine. this Philippine. We're going to save this Philippine story. I got to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. Joey Gila is hanging out with us. It's a Hawaii thing. Let the experts at King Windward help you out on your current loan or lease into a new vehicle. Visit kingwindwardnissan.com. Check out wearekupuna.com to learn more about all the resources the state of Hawaii. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. So Joey uh, Gila is hanging out with us, and Joe Coy asked you to come to the Philippines with him. Now, how, what's next? Oh, man, I didn't even know what it was for. I was like, man, okay. i never been to the Philippines. I was like, man, what do I wear? I had like a tuxedo with feathers. <laughs> 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 and my cock fighting. Uh, yeah, your butt on, your butt on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I was excited. I'd never been. And uh, he said, it, and it's for Netflix. I go, Netflix? So I had to sign it. Don't tell no one. Right. Yeah. But don't tell no So I, I didn't tell my cousins. I just told my mom and stuff. And yeah, so we shot and filmed and. He flew me first class. I never went first class. Boy, this Joey sounds promoters. like a, he's he, a mensch, this guy, Joe Coy. Uh, oh, man. It was weird. I had like our Escaldo, Luga, Rice suit, and I had a robe. <laughs> they put I on slippers. You, I hope you kept it all. He put you in a, he put man. you in one of the best hotels in the Philippines, too. Wow. No, but so. It was so nice. This all happened really quickly, didn't it? So quick. So quick. Yeah, and then I, man, and I was like, I didn't even have anything ready, like no new material. So as we're flying, I'm like writing down, like, oh man, what's funny? Wait, now? he I'm wouldn't like, let you, he, he wouldn't let you do your uh, original material. Uh, well, I I just recorded an hour special on Hulu. Oh, two so years you didn't ago, want, like you two didn't years want ago. To... So I, I threw, I exhausted everything. Yeah, yeah. And then when I had a little setback on my health, um, I wasn't like writing, writing yeah, or on the yeah, road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when he just told me, I was like, oh, I gotta be funny. Like, yeah. <laughs> let me let me funny. let me dig deep. Let me dig deep. Well, you did yeah, you did yeah. you did awesome. I mean, a lot of my friends called me up and said, "Oh man, did you watch the Netflix special yet?" And I was like, "Yeah, I did." And everyone's like, "Joey killed it." Aww. Yeah. Oh man! Thank and it was cool you. to see you I, go I was, home. I was so nervous, man. Yeah. yeah, that was my first time. That was my first time. What a good experience. He picked us up in the jeepney, and we didn't know Joe was picking us up. 
So we're waiting. It was hot. I was already scratching. I was already itchy. I was like, whoa, this weather. <laughs> it's so hot there. It's and I was so like, hot. man, you know who loved me in the Philippines? The mosquitoes. Oh, my God. They love me. Like, Stalkers. Me and Joe, we're, the jeepney, we're filming the jeepney, and they just came for me. Like, they just, and and uh, I remember I was doing one interview. They're like, Joe, it's your first time in the Philippines. I go, yeah, I love you. It's <laughs> it's amazing. Your you national I birds, I like, yeah, your, your national birds are amazing. <laughs> Besides doing but, uh, the special and hanging out with Joe, what was one thing that you thought was just you never knew about the Philippines? Oh my gosh, just just the warmth of the, of the people, man. It just felt like, man, this is my family. You know, They're when so I first nice, got there, they? I just looked around. Yeah, I mean, you know, what was good is I got to to see what like real life struggle is but yeah. how they turn it out uh, turn it into a positive yeah and because i saw joy in people's eyes from doing things that were just so simple yeah. and i, I shared with my family i said gosh we're so spoiled here in america oh, yeah. complaining we don't got the newest you yeah. know jordans or something but my yeah. wi-fi I just, is I was, slow yeah <laughs> yeah my wi-fi is slow and i saw three kids playing with like a broken toy laughing having so much fun with this little broken toy and and I just said, man, it's, it's, it's what you make of it. And sometimes uh, when you're not blinded by materialism, that's when you find true happiness, mm -hmm. true love, true family. Yeah. But that, that, yeah, that just, it just warmed my heart. Well, I was so happy for you. You got to go. Cause we've talked to, we've been talking about going for a long time. We were supposed to do how many shows, me, you and Sean yes. at the yes. Hard Rock and we just you're never happened. Hard Rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. But That's you got right. now. I now, so much fun with now you, you spoiled. You now, can't go yeah. with Lanai. We, we, you can't go with Lanai oh, now. Yeah. You I mean, went the a, Joe Coy bidet. way. Is that how you pronounce it? Bidet. Is that how you pronounce it? Bidet. <laughs> yeah. bidet. bidet. The water. The ocean. I didn't. First time. I didn't even know what that was. You're like, is this a water so fountain? Excited. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Washing your hands. I never, I never pointed my toes before. I pointed my toes. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing like this on my It was toes. like a religious experience oh is what you're saying. Yes. Religious. Joey, we're going to talk to you more on the uh, the extended version of the show, but um, we have some gifts for you for joining us today. It's a contest. We have the sugar box, uh, really good candies okay, and stuff. It's called sweet. And we have the spicy and hot box spicy. over there. Which one would you like? Spicy. Spicy. Don't look. You got to make a decision spicy. now. Or you want spicy? spicy? Okay. I spicy. Win. Thank spicy for you I so much. Win. That'll be good for I your, your okole. <laughs> Anyway, that is thank so nice. Joey, follow I Joey Gila. Too, light bulbs. On, oh my <laughs> God! Follow thank you. Joey Gila on social media. The rest of this uh, interview will be on our extended version YouTube. on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment below. Joey, I love you, man. Love Thanks you guys too. Nice. Congratulations guys. on everything you're doing, right. man. Congratulations, thank you. God Joey you Gila. He's the man. I love it. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, the extended version. Joey Gila is hanging out with us. Comedian, uh, funny guy, just overall Net nice guy. Netflix star. Netflix star. Hulu star. Hulu star. Yeah. What do you what do you um what have you been doing, man? Like have you learned any new hobbies or anything? <gasps> what's your hobby now? Yeah. What's what's Ooh. your pandemic? Hobby. Man, I've been tweezing my eyebrows just like ice skaters. I don't know if you guys. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> Hyper focusing. To get that ice look. Hyper you don't want to spend the look in the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it. The blue steel look. I get you got it. it. Yeah, I get blue it. Steel. Okay. Yeah, okay. actually, I've just been trying to like get better sleep. Mm. Like focusing. Oh, I always have pretty good sleep, but like yeah. blackening. You know, I black everything out. Wow. I even turn off the moon. I'm like, moon, okay. turn off the moon. That was in your contract. And I, I told my good. girl, I said, we can't do it three times tonight. No, I'm just playing. No, we, need <laughs> we just. <laughs> I need my but rest. I, 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 I like to, um, it's weird. Like, I, I just started meditating before I sleep just to kind of, uh, in my mind, I always, uh, part, part of my healing before uh, was visualizing my body healthy mm. so I'd imagine all my cells healthy and and just um, uh, thinking about like filling my whole body with self-love yeah and when I wake up in the morning I'm going to project that love He's so and positive. I started doing that with stand-up like so I used to see a qigong healer mm. a yeah. qigong healer with you know help me with, with chi and right um, he was amazing so I started taking qigong so I said I wonder if there's a way I can use that in my stand-up so before I would do stand-up, sometimes I would meditate on healing someone. And uh, I, I remember I was at uh, opening up for I'll Be Sure. And the, like an hour before I was meditating, I said, oh, I just want to heal someone. 
and make someone feel good. Mm. And so I performed and man, the, this, this couple came and his brother came up. He said, Jory, <laughs> Jory, <laughs> Jory, baby, come here. Hey man, hey man, you was off the chain, Jory. <laughs> man, you had my, my heart feel way better. My heart feel mm. way better, bro. <laughs> and then he goes, baby, wasn't this all hurt before we came? <laughs> Jory, man, you healed me, Jory. <laughs> And then, and then I hugged him, we hugged, and I go, whoa. I, and I was just like, is, is it working? Am I tripping? But, and then I did another show, and someone told me something similar, that their pain was gone. And I was thinking, I said, maybe there's just a connection when people just, you know, you know release some kind of stress. Yeah. yeah. Healing is happening. Huh. So, yes, yeah, so when I would perform, like, I'd, I'd make sure, like, there was chi with my movement. And nice. then, like I'm purposely like you know like yeah. shooting it out. Nice. And then I get so excited up, and then after the show, sometimes people will say something that would just man. It, that's what that's what is like the highlight of. That's why you're doing it. For me. You know, you know, Joey mm-hmm. always reminded me. I'm Joey knows Kaleo very well. Kaleo Pilanka, who's mm-hmm. a comedian here in Hawaii. Oh, I love Kaleo. Yeah, the Joey hey, Kaleo. and Kaleo. Um, they have the same kind of energy. Hmm. They have the same kind of, you know, Kaleo works at a, at a hospital for years. He's like Patch Adams. And that's what he does. He yes. just goes and makes kids laugh and they feel better. Now he yeah. works at a state hospital and they think he's one of the patients, but he's still making everybody laugh. You know, that's what you do. And, Wasn't he on your yeah. show with you? Oh for yeah. Plate? I love, I no, love that's Kaleo. Sean Felipe. Yeah. Yeah. Joey and, works and, with Sean yeah, Felipe yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. yeah Kaleo, when I, and Kaleo takes it to another level of healing. He's connected with nature, like on yeah. another level. Yeah. We were driving. He was talking to plants and trees, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah." Okay. He'll just lay. He'll just lay down and talk to the tree. Huh. Hey, how's it? He's like, "Hey, how's it?" I'm like, no, I, "I feel like I was like," and I was talking to the plant. Hey, how's it? <laughs> hey, how's it? Hey, how's it? How's it? How's it? It's so funny when how's people it? imitate <laughs> pigeon, isn't it? Hey, well, his was, copying whatever his was pretty spot on, though. Yeah. That was pretty spot on. Hey, how's it? Hey, how's it? <laughs> and I was like, no, I feel, I felt bad that I didn't know to talk to plants we're both in it we're just both talking <laughs> to trees. Uh, but i love i love khalil that brother he's so he's golden man yeah he, you know what when i was walking with him he said hi to everyone we walked by like in the, like he, even people he didn't know and he would hug them yeah just uh-huh. making connection and and putting his forehead i don't know what's that called yeah uh, spin the bottle no, <laughs> <laughs> i was doing it too i was all <laughs> what's happening yeah, that's yeah, yeah. He, yeah he was, he was Joey, I was on yeah, um, was um, just uh, Josal, Ron Josal's podcast. Ron, that's my last brother. week. Yeah, we so I met so Ron Josal so is a, a big comedian out of is it Quebec or Toronto? Uh, Toronto. He's Toronto. a big comedian out of Toronto. You cheated on our on our podcast. No, well, I was a guest. I was oh, a guest okay. on his podcast, <laughs> and Joey and Ron are yeah. good friends. Oh, okay, and they've toured all over yeah. the world together. But Ron was talking about. Uh, Putting a show together with me, you, Kaleo, and Sean in the Philippines, and also in he does China, he does like Not these now. Asian he places. He does all, every every country. Yeah. He's in Poland. He's in like this is crazy. Man, he goes Filipino guys, comics. How do you guys? These do, are Filipino comics. But what? How do you do a concert in China if you don't speak Chinese? This is what the cool thing is: is people who come. So yeah. when you do, and he oh, this is one he was talking about. He does India. He wants to bring us to India. So you go to he goes to India and it's wow. if you go to a comedy show it's only the wealthy of the wealthy can afford to go. Okay. So it's all the wealthy Filipinos that come. He said there was two thousand Filipinos that rolled out the red carpet for him and the three other Filipino comics he took in and India. In India. Uh huh. And they were treated first class and these things. But he didn't mention this to you. He wants to bring us to go and I said I'm ready so to go. So you guys speak English wow. and English. they speak English yeah. and they're understanding because you in English. Because the Filipinos are all uh, in the uh, service uh, industry. Um, yeah, and either they own the companies or they run them. Got you it. You know that kind of deal. In India. We'll just go there straight to India. Hey, how many of you feel naughty? Yeah. <laughs> feeling naughty you today? didn't do your whole Deepak <laughs> Chopra like stick over there Maybe and it would stick. Yes. Yeah, my, my grandfather was born in India. Was so he? That's how I picked up. Yeah, so when I was young, I was around the Indian culture. And, and you're and you're like part so, Chinese too. You speak Chinese. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they hold ma. Wow. <laughs> no, no, you need to take him everywhere. When I went when I performed in Chinatown for the this parade, uh, I didn't know there was going to be a interpreter. 
<laughs> oh my god! So I would tell my joke. I go, hey, da 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 da. She goes, he go no power like he go go loud jolly. And I was like, oh my god! It was throwing me off. That right. is the worst thing to do when there's an interpreter. Yeah. I did a show in Japan. <laughs> Oh gosh! Yeah, I, yeah. I did a show in Japan, and they had an interpreter. I said, "No, we can't do this." Because this isn't oh, because they have to catch up. Yeah, it's and like the joke it, is it was, so you're waiting for the delay. laughter. Oh, got it. And it's yeah. not funny the way they I, translated it. Oh, right. Okay. And also, I was, I was at the club when I met my wife. She go, "I go no la disco dancing." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I go no la disco dancing." You do a, a you do an amazing impersonation of uh, was it Chan? The chef. Oh, Martin Yan. Martin Yan. Martin Yan. Martin Yan. Yan. Yeah. Give us a give us a little. That's, taste. that's give deep. us a little. In the eighties. Yeah, Yan can cook. Just watch him. Yan yeah. can Yan cook. Yan can cook. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I remember what I liked about him is just he was always. Uh, I mean, he was funny in his own way, but yeah. he would try to tell jokes. You yes. Know, that's what was funny. And it was just dry. Whoa! There's there's a lot of bean in the world. It's a string bean. It's a soy bean. But the most important is a human bean. <laughs> yeah, that was like his joke. You know? <laughs> wow, that's pretty spot on too. I, I used to I used to walk around the house, uh, like sound like him and our landlord in San Francisco, Peter Chang. They almost sound the same. Uh -huh. So that was my first, like Asian accent was was Chinese when I was like nine years old. So yeah, I would ride my skateboard, and my landlord, even though he lived upstairs, he could hear you know on the wooden floor going back and forth. So. You would you would uh, you know come downstairs and yell. He said, "Joey boy, don't lie. You'll skate out in the house. You'll make too much noise." <laughs> and then I would repeat it to my mom. My mom would be laughing. You know, she's like, "Oh my gosh, you sound just like our landlord." <laughs> that's how I started like yeah. I'm and surprised. then all my friends and and was, was Chinese. Oh, they were Chinese. Yeah, growing up. So funny. Yeah, all my friends were Chinese, and I wanted I had curly hair. I wanted like straight you know hair like Chinese. So, and I would imitate my my friends' parents too. So and and like my friends, I'd imitate my friends. They they'd come over. I said, "Mom, ah, uh, can Joey boy come play outside? Can Joey boy come play outside? We're gonna play the hide and go seek." <laughs> and then my Russian friends, I had Russian friends, Chinese, and they would say, "Joey, can you come up and play football or baseball?" <laughs> So it was like Chinese and Russian in our neighborhood. Yeah, so it was a trip, but wow. it was just so weird. Yeah. See, that, he can do so many voices. That's you know, so I'm crazy. surprised. Did Sean uh, ever tell you about he got that audition with the Waynes brothers because they were going to bring back in Living Color? No. He had an audition awesome. with the Wayans brothers, mm -hmm. and the biggest thing was they brought in all these comedians, and everyone had like 10 minutes or whatever, and, and he, the Wayans brothers said, okay, uh, do uh, an impersonation. And then Sean did, of course, his Vietnamese or Thai. And oh, then he, it's then Thai they, mom, and he said, "All right, so give good. me another impersonation." And then he did like two. And then he and then he goes, "Give me another one." He goes, "Oh, that's all I have." <laughs> and then they go, "Okay, next." <laughs> they wow. go, they said next. So Sean calls me. He goes, "Man, I just screwed up." And I go, "What?" He goes, "They want me to do this." I said, "Why don't you call Joey? Did you call Joey for this?" But I guess you weren't. He was in L.A. Mm. You weren't. Didn't oh, he didn't tell right, you about this. Right. He's being no, selfish. No. He should have. You yeah. should have got that audition. You should be doing more voiceover. You should, should be doing be. like. You should be doing like Disney like cartoons yeah. and like. You should be doing all oh that stuff. Oh my gosh, that would cool. be, oh, Your voices would be are awesome. Who I else do you do? Um, you know, I just do like random people like in my family too. Like my my dad. My dad is a trippy character, and I did it for the special, but it got edited out. Like oh, did seven it? minutes got edited out of the special. But it was the first time I really did like my my father's real. My dad doesn't really have an accent or anything. He sounds more like, uh, he, like he's like he's from the streets, you know, from from the Mission District. It's either film or the Mission yeah. District in San Francisco. But yeah, um, do him, do him. I can, oh, I can do it. Okay, so this is true. Right before he passed away, he was uh, <laughs> he was he was a good cook. He was he was cutting some vegetables, making peanut bit. So I was like, wow. hey, yeah, you had a lot of you had a lot of women growing up. And I said, what was your secret? He did. He always had women around. He said, yeah, Joey, uh, to be honest with you, Joey. Yeah. And I go, you, you want to know how I have a lot of women? I go, yeah. Yeah, so I got a big dick, son. <laughs> um, unfortunately, you didn't got that. <laughs> uh, That's the way he talked. Yeah. Asian and love. We go to restaurants. We go to restaurants. And my dad had like, you know, he would get distracted anytime a girl would walk by. 
So we're, we're talking. He's like, yeah, Joey, uh, someday, as a matter of fact, I was in church, right? And um, God damn. <laughs> God damn. Where are you from? Are you a movie star? God damn. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. But his whole character. So he was like the comedian of our, our family. That's so funny. We used to go somewhere. He'd ask the guy, how you doing, sir? What's your name? Are you Christian? And he's like, uh, yes, I am. Hey, can you bless me with your watch? Yeah, that's what he was just said. He was just like, <laughs> but you know, my uncle Dennis. Well, yeah, I yeah. My uncle Dennis. I know your uncle so Dennis. So my dad is his older brother. Yeah. Oh, okay. My, my dad was like the play of the family. That's How hilarious. How do you know his uncle community. Dennis? So I met Joey because Uncle Dennis's stepdaughter I dated in wow. for, a, for, a, for a long time when I was much younger though. That's I was, a loaded I was I was like statement. 17, 18, 19, like my early. Te- my late teens That's I dated so her crazy. but we became friends over time and then I met Joey through comedy right and then Joey we did a bunch of shows here in Hawaii but where did I first meet you a bunch you? of shows was uh, it here in Hawaii on the radio station oh radio yes station. Uh, yeah you came on you were a guest on the show yes yeah, and yeah so you guys didn't know that you had dated no but you- I knew his last name and, and I think it was it was a show in Vallejo and your whole family came and Uncle Dennis was there and yes. he was I was like what are you guys doing here? Oh, you know, because we've. That's and, right. Yeah. That's Kaleo, super yeah. awkward. Yeah. No, it was. We're, we're all friends, and it was all cool. You're like, and we're still friends. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's right. It was Vale? It was in Vallejo. <laughs> Filipino worlds are really that. They're small. They're really small, just like your world. Really small. Yeah. It's so crazy. Are we good on time? Good. Yeah. We we're got a bunch YouTube's. of time. We had a bunch of timekeepers here today, <laughs> so we want to make sure we don't, you know, step over the boundaries mm. of our time limits. It's like um, when I make love. So like, man, one more minute. Okay. <laughs> all right, Joey. Thank you so much for joining us today, man. Thanks for coming You're on all, the show. You've Thank always you. been one of my favorite comedians, and I've said that out loud to many different people. Yeah, he has. He's yeah. obsessive. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't man, lie about that. He does. I, yeah. I love you, brother. Joey's thank one of those guys, guys where. Uh, Joey and Kaleo, I always say this. Joey and Kaleo are one of those guys, like, if you're having a bad day, mm. I'll just give him a call. Aww. And then I won't say I'm having a bad day or anything. I just give him a call and you talk to him and then you feel, you feel like... feel better. Yeah. Aww. Feel better about yourself. Oh, so you're doing... like a tetanus shot. <laughs> <laughs> Vitamin boost, an IV bag hey. for your soul. Speaking of, you're, everything's good? You're, you're good? You're healthy? Yeah, yeah. Health is good. Yeah. Okay, health good. Health is good. Thank you for asking, brother. All right. Definitely. Because when I don't yeah. hear from Joey for a little while. I don't got gingivitis no more. <laughs> oh, you're that good. Working on that flossing. Good. He's got good you teeth, too. smiling, it bleeds. You got to go back. <laughs> you smile, it bleeds. You got to go back. Yeah, you got to smile. Just... Nah. Jo- Joey's got good teeth, good eyebrows, good hair, and a good goatee. Good heart. Yeah, oh, good heart. Man. Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, guys. I love what you guys are doing, man. Uh, thank you. Happy. I know you never watch the show, but thank you, man. And tell, <laughs> tell. I don't either. So. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Hey, we'll see you was soon. Show, was the show called again? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll see you soon. Hey, make sure you call Ron and let's do a show to set up a show. We should because we need to set it up I'll, now I'll, if we're gonna do it at the end of the year. Post pandemic. Yeah. 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 Post. Yeah. I'm post. trying to be itchy. I'm hey, sure. everything's open here, Joey. We're doing uh, me, um, Kaleo, and Champ are doing the Blue Note on March 13th. No way. Yeah, we're doing a we're doing a weekend He's over like, there. Thanks I have for to come inviting. join you guys one day. No, when you're ready, let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's go when you're ready. Thanks for bringing me out, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Buddy. Fly me out on Greyhound again. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> one paddle, that two was paddle. Southwest, buddy. Southwest. <laughs> First class. First class. All right, Joey Gila, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you follow him oh, on Instagram and all his so platforms. Much. Look out for him on YouTube Thank and all his me. specials. Netflix on the Joe Coy special. You can find Joey Gila most recent. Subscribe to the channel. Please leave us a comment. We'll see you next time. Ahui ho. Love you, buddy. Thank you. God bless you guys. Bye. Love you guys.